on. Let me just put that. Just check. Yes, it is. Right. Let's check with my phone to make sure that it's working and sound is on. So, um, let me just put a bit more light on there. That's better. Right. So, um, morning all. Um, yes. Tune in Tuesday with Ali. Sorry, it's a bit late today. Um, but uh, next door neighbour decided um this morning he wanted to jet jet wash his garden. So um, I haven't been there for the noise. You wouldn't been any hear me for the noise and um, can't think anyway. So um, I'm been in, unable to come in and work until he until he finished it up, finished out the back here. Um, so uh, tune in Tuesday. A um, bit late, but we're here. And what am I talking about today? I'm talking about um, back to school. Hang on, don't like the look of that. There, let me just change that there. It's all right, it says back to school wellness. I'm like, it's not linking and I didn't want that. Anyway, um, <laughs> here we go. Right, think. Um, right, yes, back to school. Now, you might be thinking, oh God, Ali, this is too early to think about that. Um, but I mean, yes, we are on um, August the 6th. Um, but if you notice um, in your local area, you will see the school. Uh, supermarkets and that are promoting back to school already with their um, stationery with their lunch boxes with their school uniforms because obviously mums are prepping and getting ready some leave it to the last minute but some like to use this month to get ready for school time so not leaving it to the last minute and not rushing um, how can you get involved with this you may not want to start advertising yet if you have if you know you get extremely busy or you know your regulars will be taking up september spots but you want um just to do some extra bookings or get some promotion on this um you can start marketing it now you can start promoting it now but i'm sharing with you now in case you want to start planning um and like do it you know the week before or whatever um for those last minute shoppers etc um, but it, certainly you can use this week to think about it and plan it um, and what am i talking about well look at the different aspects you've got the kids you've got the parents so there's mums and the dads um, don't forget don't just concentrate on just mums there's mums and dads out there um, but you've got the children as well so different aspects of what they need we're getting ready for school now, you know your business better than me, so I'm not going to tell you what to provide in your therapy business. You can do that. Um, you know your qualifications. You know what you're allowed to do and what you're allowed to promote. But things I want you to think about. First things first is children with stress, nerves of going back to school, nerves of maybe a new school or first day at the big school they will be nervous um ross thompson will know all about this and using batch flower remedies i've used this um over the years for lots of different reasons but yes i used to use them um, when both my boys who were now 29 and 33 um when they went from junior school to um Oh, I don't know what they're calling now. I mean, I always used to call them comprehensive schools. Um, but when they went up to the bigger school and they were nervous going from a little little um, junior school to a big comprehensive, um, they were nervous about it. And you don't want to exasperate their nerves. You don't want, mums don't want to, oh, he's coming back out again. Keep going on. Hopefully it won't be so bad. Um, you know you don't want to make them you don't want to show your nerves and, and worries worse or the mums don't want to show their worries and nerves worse so batch flower remedies come in real handy for this not only but for the kids and the mums themselves two different two different blends they'll you need different blends for the for each different client anyway as you know but blends you can use for nerves and um, for fear of the unknown 
um, things like that, gaining for confidence. So all the different remedies that you can pull together for one bottle, um, use it for the children. Now, children can have it in a school drink. Children, you can put it in there. If they have cereal in the morning for breakfast, they can have it in their milk, in their cereal. So they can take it without knowing that they're taking it. Um, that's how I used to use it with my boys, because if I used to say, right, take this, they will go, oh, no, because it's medicine or it's whatever, or it's your witchy stuff or didn't want to know. But if I put it in their drinks or cereal or whatever, they were fine. And I used to put it also in their school drink so they could drink it through the day and again, not know that, that, that we were taking it. So that's that's one thing you can use. You can also create another blend then for the mum for, you know, their child going off to school. They've had them around for six weeks. They might be sorry to see them going, you know, leaving, not leaving the nest syndrome, but you know what I mean? And they might be nervous and worried about their child all day. So again, you've got another blend there for the mums. So that's one thing that you can do um, if you're if you're qualified in batch flower remedies or in any flower flower remedies at all. Um, you can use, you know, you can you can use that one. And as I said, I've used that with, you know, to, to great success. So get promoting on that one. Um, there's also, um, you can think of, obviously there's massage and there's reflexology. So back to school. There might be some mums that are be grateful that their kids are going back to school. Um, so again, you might want to promote, there's the, the image. I mean, I might show it underneath, um, underneath this, um, that the kids are all lined up you know, for their school photo, first day at school photo with their lunch bags. And there's a mum in the middle and she's jumping up in the air going, yeah, back to school. Um, so, you know, there are some mums celebrating when the kids go back and the children go back. So, you know, again, start talking about that. What if they, and remember, it's not just, you know, booking them in for a massage or a reflexology treatment. It's how have they been feeling for the last six weeks? Do you want to be, you know, do you want to help them uncoil unroll relax their muscles you know get themselves feeling themselves again after six weeks of are we there yet mom what can i have to eat mom i'm hungry you know all that all the time so these are the things that you can talk about in your promotion not just i provide you know massage reflexology to stressed mums when their kids are gone back to school or mums celebrating but talk about what they're feeling what they you know what they'll get from it how they'll feel at the end of it so that's other promotions you've got there for the for the massage and the reflexology and, and back to school if you're qualified in nutrition talk about recipes um healthy lunch boxes again you can start doing that now in your blogs in your newsletters um regular posts maybe you know not necessarily one one you know one post one reel um a week something like that or a nice long blog that you can link to your newsletter but sharing recipes um for healthy lunch boxes um you know you can talk you know talk about that i mean the amount of things that i follow on instagram with reels with mums being organized or mums you know making lunch boxes making healthy foods creating snack boxes a lot of it is american it's fine do it for this country you know our parents and whatever i know i needed things like that when i was a mum there might be grandmas out there as well that who help support families this day and age that you know might need help and support and advice with that so recipes ideas lunch boxes healthy food maybe your children um or the mums as well um, are into um, Nutribullet smoothies, things like that, sharing recipes on, on smoothies and healthy drinks, um, you know, different bits and pieces. I'm looking at the moment for me for healthy breakfasts and I'm looking at um, and trying um, overnight oats. So again, that's something else. If you have got a nutrition or a food related qualification, then you can um, share and, and do things like this. So again, recommendations for healthy breakfasts, healthy food, et cetera, et cetera. Um, also talk about time out. Um, if you've got the space or the opportunity to be, able to, to be able to offer something like a spa feeling, um, again, that given these mums time out, that once these kids, the children have gone back to school, 
again they may want some time out to more than just a massage they might want a package together that they can feel feminine again they can lose their tag of mum for a bit and feel feminine feel like a woman again feel like them again so it might be a package that you want to offer of massage reflexology pedicure manicure indian head massage facial whatever you pull a top to toe package together to give mums a bit like a spa day give them some me time they've spent six weeks with their children being you know their undivided attention help give support in their children let's give them some support so again you can things use things like that to talk about as i said if you've got the space got the time create the, uh, the combination or collaborate with a, another therapist that you're not qualified in so if you're not qualified in pedicures manicures facials collab with another therapist that you can do that together either together or they book with you and they get the second part with them these things can be worked out i said if you've got the space if you've got the garden i've only got a tiny garden but i've done it where i've done um oh, i can remember a couple of years ago when it was the queen's diamond jubilee i think um and i did a facial fit for a queen and it was having the facial inside um with you know special extra luxurious products and then they came outside and they sat in the garden um with a, a refreshment so either a herbal tea or a good old you know builder's tea or coffee so they could sit and take time out in the garden again you may not be able to offer that but there's something there you might want to do a collab with a cafe that you can have the treatment and then they can go off and have afternoon tea or they can go off and have coffee and cake in a cafe afterwards think about these different things that you can do you can put together for the mums stand out and be different you might think to yourself oh god i don't want to do that oh for a minute nobody will go for that you don't know unless you try and as i said everybody's gonna you know check the deal. they all do the massage and they do the reflexology and the facials and whatever but try and make your stand out try and make the wording for it stand out try and make the name of it stand out try and make the name of it inviting not just oh book yourself for a back neck and shoulder massage give it a name sit and think and brainstorm some terms but also as i said you know create writings create content so whether it's reels whether it's a bit of video whether it's a blog whether it's for your newsletter create some helpful information over the next couple of weeks in preparing the children and the mum for back to school and for afterwards as well so once they start in September, you know, they've got that that support as well. Because think again of um, the mums, the parents that might not have any family network around them. I was here and I didn't have that support, you know, with my children, I didn't have that, that support. The first year of living here, I mean, I only had Gareth and he didn't um, go to school. So it was all right, but I had no, I had no support. Um, network so there will be some parents with no family or support network around them if you can be that support I'm not saying child mind or take the kids to school but be that support give them that that help um, that not necessarily oh, that help that 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 advice that nurturing that caring that they may be looking for so sit and brainstorm sit and think of some things of how if especially if you've got if you've had children and they're now grown up can you remember back to those school times what did you feel like what did your children feel like what would you have liked to have had happen what would you have liked to have received is there any back to school packs that you can create we all you know we've all done the te thank you to the teacher packs at the end of the year end of the school year what can you create that you can put as a pack as back to school it's not as a gift it's what they buy themselves so the mums so that you know the teachers what is it you can do because the teachers don't forget them they're starting back to school as well so maybe they may need some well they will need some help and support batch flower remedies an aromatherapy oil blend headaches you know things like that so have a sit and have a think about that time if you've got children grown up what you can do to support all that connections all those people within that and going back to school because this gives you plenty of time to have a think about it to plan it put it together and then get it out there and market it ready 
for the end of August, beginning of September. Also, remember, we've got Bank Holiday August as well. There's the Bank Holiday Monday. So again, think of putting that into it as well. What can you talk about that? So there's lots of things that you can think of through this month. And if your business has gone quiet and you're quite happy that it's gone quiet, this gives you the time then to have a look at it as well, to sit down and plan it and have put everything and create everything and put it all in place ready. You can even schedule posts to go out at the end of the month um, ready, you know, for the start of school um, in the September. So that's my tune in Tuesday for today. Talking about back to school. Do um, let me know if you're watching on replay. Um, let me know if you're putting anything together. Let me know um, if you want to, you know, brainstorm some ideas, even, you know, got um, subject ideas, title ideas, what type of package you're going to put together. Please don't keep it to yourself. Let's, you know, be open and share to one another in here. We're all, you know, supporting one another here in Fully Book Therapists. Um, and let's see what you what you can create, what you're going to brainstorm, what your idea is going to be. But let me know your thoughts. Will you be putting a package together? Will you be thinking of something? Will you be offering um, treatments and appointments, you know, to cover those things that I've suggested? I'd love to know. So there we are for Tune In Tuesday. It's back to school and it's all about sharing and creating for the children, the parents, the grandparents, the teachers um, and the you know family of you know of support. But so that's it for this week. Take care and I'll catch up with you again soon.